Hi, in this video, I'm going to be leading you through a manifestation meditation. So this video is for you if you want to manifest even more abundance, prosperity, money, relationships in your life. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe right now because I make videos like this all the time. And I'd love to hear in the comments here below, what is it that you want to manifest in your life right now? I can give you even more insight in the comments. And I also love just hearing the work that you're doing out there and exploring inwards. So let's get started. This meditation works best with headphones on. So you can grab some headphones and just go ahead and take a comfortable seated position and we'll get right into it if you have crystals around you and that is in your practice of meditation go ahead and grab you can grab a citrine crystal this is what I have in my hand and it's a crystal for abundance and prosperity but if you don't it's totally fine this meditation is to help drop you into a place of abundance and manifesting all of your dreams including abundance through money energy through relationships whatever it is that you are truly desiring in your life so go ahead and take a comfortable seated position i'm sitting on a meditation pillow by sitting pretty still which i totally love and i'll include the links here below but just sit comfortably and go ahead and start to close your eyes so as you Begin to find stillness in your busy life. Just come back to the subtle rhythm of your breath. The beautiful thing about our breath is that it's always there for us and the more we tune in and find stillness the easier it will be for you to find a place of relaxation in the midst of your life so as we begin to relax I want to invite you to do a full body scan from the top of your head. Imagine a white light pouring down in through the crown of your head. The white light travels through your face, relaxing your eyelids, relaxing your jaw, then flowing through to your chest, making its way down your spine and into the root of you shooting down into the earth now. And as you envision this white light connecting you to the core of the earth, I invite you to start growing that light with each inhale the light becomes more intense and then with each exhale the light grows even larger Inhaling, the light grows brighter. Exhaling, the light grows even larger to encompass your building. Your neighborhood. And then on this last exhale, it's it starts to encompass the whole planet. And in this white light, you're connected to every single human being on this planet. The 
it's only when we know that we are connected and that we are one, this universal truth, that we are vibrating together as one, that we can begin to manifest what we truly want in our life. We aren't creating here alone, but we have the help of the world, of our communities, of those closest to us. And it's through that oneness, through that connection, that we can start to manifest and bring our deepest desires into reality. So I want to invite you to bring to mind now one person in your life that you may feel disconnected with right now. It might be a partner, it might be a family member, or it might be a coworker. Whoever it is, go ahead and start to envision them in your mind's eye six feet in front of you. Hmm. Whatever is coming to mind of this conflict that you've experienced, I want to hold space for you right now for forgiveness. And I invite you to forgive this person forgive them for whatever it is that they did whether big or small if you can start with an incident a person in which the conflict was small it'll be easier for you to forgive and then you can start to build on top of that but if this is your first time doing forgiveness work i want you to choose a person or a situation that you can release here. And as you forgive this person, as you ask for forgiveness yourself, know that this forgiveness is a pathway to your own freedom. Because whatever this person has quote unquote done to you, we've all done before in our own different ways and it's only through this forgiveness that we are truly set free to continue to manifest what it is that we want in our life so go ahead and say I forgive you I'm sorry Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. Whether you feel this person is deserving of your forgiveness or not, or whether you feel like you don't need to say sorry, this is a practice that is available for your freedom every day and is the doorway to manifest whatever it is that you want in your life. It's only through peace and connection with those in our lives that we're able to bring in what it is that we truly want. So as you're wrapping up this forgiveness practice that is absolutely essential to manifesting your true desires I invite you to just place your left hand on your heart and know that this work is already happening, this healing is already happening because you took that proactive step to release it. Next, I want to invite you into a space of gratitude. It's through gratitude and recognizing what we truly love in our life that we're grateful for that we can bring in even more abundance and create what it is that we want in our life so i want you to think of something that happened to you in the last 24 to 48 hours where you just felt 
full. You felt full and grateful. Maybe it was something as simple as taking a sip of hot tea in the morning. And you were just like, yes, I just love this right now. I feel at home. Or maybe someone did something for you that surprised you and that you were just so grateful for. It helped you. Bring in as many experiences of gratitude that you can recall and really sink that in to your body. Maybe it was something that you did in your business that you're so grateful for, that that came together, that was effortless for you, or maybe it was a coach that helped you. Really lock in that feeling and know that that feeling is a damn powerful vibration for for manifestation. I'm going to give you a couple more moments to really feel into that. And just let a smile come across your face because gratitude feels good. Go ahead and wrap up that feeling and just lock it in with a smile. Now I want to invite you to a creative visualization for your deepest desires, what it is that you truly want to manifest in your life. This is your opportunity to paint this visual, exciting reality that you want to create for yourself. Oftentimes, we tend to overestimate what we can do in a year, but we underestimate what we can do in three years. So I want to invite you to take a three-year stance here, and I want you to paint in your mind's eye what is your life looking like. What are your relationships like? How much money are you making in your business or in your career? How does it feel to receive that money? Where are you living? And who are you waking up next to? How are you contributing in this world, your communities? And where are you being recognized? Whether it's online or offline, We all have so much value to offer this world. And it's through our deepest desires and really envisioning, visualizing what's possible that we can really reach our potential and be fulfilled day to day. So lock in the visualization, the feeling, the smells, the tastes. And know that it is all happening. It's 
all coming together right now. I want to invite you to pause this video if you need more time. This is my favorite part of this meditation. But don't stay too long into it because there are more steps to this manifestation meditation, but press pause for a minute or two and replay it if needed. So go ahead and wrap up this creative visualization. Put the paintbrush down for a moment. I want to invite you back to your space in the here and now, the next 24 hours of your life as you're designing it. Everything that we want to manifest comes into our lives into our reality through the decisions that we make day to day hour to hour minute by minute it's it's not in meditation but it's through those decisions so i want to give you space and invite you to visualize the next 24 hours of your life what are those decisions what are those feelings that you are choosing to experience Maybe you get up from this meditation and you journal. It's a great place to start. What is it that you want to do today in the next 24 hours so that your visualization in the next three years, you know that you're on your way? Maybe you call up a friend who you know that you can help through your business. Maybe you create a video. Maybe you're walking your dog at the end of the day and you're watching the sunset, filling your heart with gratitude. Wherever you are, Go ahead and bring that day to an end now, locking it in with a smile, knowing that you're going to sleep fully fulfilled with all of your decisions because you spent this time meditating. Lastly, I want to invite you to open up your hands in this mudra. Mudra just means a position. It's it's through our, our it's through our actions and the way that we carry ourselves that we signal out to the universe what it is that we truly desire. So open up your hands in a mudra of receiving right now. And I want you to envision a white clearing abundant light flowing into the palms of your hands and in that white light are all that you've envisioned all the dreams all the hopes all the experiences emotions relationships money downloading into these hands and know that it is with these hands that you are going to create with your heart and your mind and these hands you are manifesting your life right now you already know how to do this everything in your life is a product of what you've manifested from your decisions to show up every day so receive this blessing receive all that you have Created all that you have worked through and are crafting in your life right now. I know that it's already so. 
oh, how exciting is life? How exciting is this exploration of meditation? How exciting are the limitless possibilities to create the life that you love? So wherever you are, go ahead and you can place your crystal down or you can place it in the palm of your hand and bring your hands together to lock in this new vibration, this new energy that you have acquired into your mind's eye, into your insight and awareness through meditation. And we can close this simply by saying namaste, which just means that the light in me honors the light in you and that we are all connected. Mm. So namaste. Thank you. So thank you again so much for taking the time to explore inwards into yourself and to really go after what it is that you want to create in your life through this manifestation meditation. It's only when we are truly actively going after what it is we deeply desire that this world can be a better place. So do the work. Explore even more. Journal down. Journal it down. And don't forget to put it to action. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments here below. And make sure to subscribe because I love making videos and I make videos all the time. And I want to be on this journey with you. If you're watching this video and you're like, wow, I want to make videos just like that. Or I want to make videos and I want to build a business around it. Check out my website, lifebyjazz.com. It has a bunch of resources and I do coach and help spiritual entrepreneurs and high vibe businesses really grow an impactful business online. And I'd love to share that with you. So I can't wait to hear your comments and continue to watch this meditation over and over again because it's through that practice and repetition that you will be able to create and drop into this at any time. So thank you again so much for doing this work. Namaste, Ashe, that means good vibes, good energy, and peace and blessings to you.